Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. So today I have filmed you a makeup tutorial on how I do this makeup, which is basically my like everyday kind of makeup, which is just black and purple eyeshadow, purple lips, and just kind of gothic and all that stuff. I hope that you guys enjoy it and keep on watching. So I am completely naked face right now and I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. pretty much do my makeup the same way and have been doing it the same way for like many years. Basically my go-to look is black and purple eyeshadow. So usually what I do is put like purple on the inner corners and then black on like the outer corners and I like it super dramatic and just like really big eyeshadow, big eyeliner, and yeah. For um, for my moisturizer, I just use this uh, CeraVe uh, moisturizing cream, but I have like the big like pump one in the bathroom. This is just like one that came with it as well, so I keep that in here. The next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is use, um, I actually got this one pretty recently and I've been liking it. I find it doesn't like dry me out, whereas um, I was using this one for a while. Um, I was using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and it's pretty good but I found it like too heavy and kind of like hard to blend and it would just kind of like not spread very well. I don't know. So I tried this one because I heard a lot of good things about it. So this is the Wet n Wild foundation and I've really been liking it. I was actually thinking of combining like squirting my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop into this and kind of mixing it. I don't really know why I want to do it but I'm just kind of tempted to because I don't know I think that this is about like halfway full and that's about halfway full and I like um, this a lot better because it's basically just like a little spatula um, whereas the NYX one that I have is like a pump and I find it gets stuck a lot like the foundation will kind of like build up at the pump and then I can't squirt it out and when it does squirt out it like really goes everywhere so that sucks but anyways um, what I'm going to be doing is using a beauty blender knockoff thing and um, I basically just take this on the little spatula and I just kind of like randomly put a little bit on here. Um, I don't usually clip my hair back or anything because I hate my ears. Whether I'm on camera or not, I just don't really like my ears to be showing. So yeah, I just kind of go ahead and dab this all over my face. Um, and also I will put it on my eyelids just because it helps with, um, it being a base and everything. I will be adding uh, a white base to my eyes. I use the NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I believe. Sometimes I'll dab it on my lips just because it helps when I put on my very pastel purple uh, lipstick later on. It's nice to kind of have my lips at least sort of like matching my skin tone a little bit. So that's pretty much it for foundation. Um, I don't really wear a concealer anymore just because I find that whenever I buy a thing of concealer I go through it so quickly and it's like kind of expensive and I feel like it's not super necessary. Like for me the foundation kind of does enough of what I want to and plus sometimes I don't even bother to wear foundation. So um, the next few things I'm going to do, I just like to get my face stuff out of the way because the eyeshadow to me is like the most fun part anyways. So I'm going to be doing all of my face stuff next. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to use is this Maybelline Loose Powder. Um, it's just in like the lightest shade and there's like makeup stuff smeared all over it but that's okay. Um, so I just like to go ahead and open this and usually there's like um, usually there's like a little bit in there already so I'll just kind of take whatever like kind of fluffy brush and just kind of like put it in there <laughs> randomly. Just kind of go ahead and just kind of dab it and swirl it and random stuff getting hair in my face. Now that we have our powder on, the next thing that I use is this, which again, this is kind of a newer one that I have been using, which is also by Wet n Wild, which was the same as my foundation. Just kind of basically tap into both of them and I'll go kind of under my jawline like that, just kind of randomly, and then I'll kind of go right here and over here, and then I just kind of go on my forehead a bit. I think that that's what you're supposed to do. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll kind of like squeeze my brush together and kind of do like the nose thing. I don't really know if this does anything, but I just kind of do it. I'm also super, super lightly tapping into these. Like I don't really want to have like a super intense contour or anything. I don't really know how much you can tell that it's there, but usually I'll just kind of like blend it out anyways and just go back in with the same brush that I use my powder for and just kind of 
do this just to make sure there's like no weird harsh lines or anything like that the next and final thing that i do for my face is i use a highlighter this is a uh, nyx diamond and ice tap around a little brush and i like to put it kind of i guess below my eyes on my cheekbone and i dip back in this pretty often because who doesn't like like sparkly stuff <laughs> and then i put it down my nose i'll put some kind of Alright, so this is pretty much everything that I would do for my face. You could totally like use a setting spray right now. I just personally don't really use them anymore. It's just another like expensive thing that I don't find super necessary for myself. Next thing that I'm going to work on is my eyebrows. So my eyebrow situation is actually a little weird right now. So I got my eyebrows microbladed like over two years ago and you're supposed to go back I think like a year later to get them redone or something but I never did. So. Since I shaved them, I still have this like leftover like microblading pigment, I guess. I don't know. So it's kind of handy because at least now when I go to do my eyebrows, I already have something to work with. Like I don't have to worry about, um, you know, figuring out where to put my eyebrows because they're already there basically. But it's also kind of weird because now it's just like I have shaved eyebrows, but there's still something kind of there, but not really. This is basically my eyebrows. So this is my eyebrows shaved right now, and that's just kind of what we're dealing with. So yeah, that's a thing, but that's fine. Um, anyways, so what I like to do for my eyebrows is I just take this brush here that's just like an eyebrow brush um this is my jeffree star cremated palette i'll usually just use this like gray shade for my eyebrows but sometimes i'll add a little bit of black as well it's just kind of random i want to get like an actual eyebrow product like i think the anastasia pomade's pretty good um but i just don't want to buy it right now because it's expensive so for now i'm just dipping into that gray shade and i might just lightly tap into that black and just kind of follow like the bottom line and then I just kind of change my angle to get the tail so like I kind of go like this and then switch my angle and go down for the tail and I just kind of do the same thing I just sort of do like I guess little strokes sometimes I just do it in one solid go just keep going back into my eyeshadow and just kind of filling in and kind of blending it away take whatever's left over on my beauty blender from my foundation earlier and just kind of like randomly um so i'm just gonna go ahead and do this one super quick as well um sometimes i can kind of do it without even like doing strokes and just kind of do it in one quick line i'll try to do it real quick and sometimes i find that that works better i don't really know how to explain it but i kind of just like drag it and then just kind of like naturally it just like swoops down towards the tail i don't really know how to explain it but just with the amount of pressure that i put it just kind of seamlessly lets me just kind of follow that line we're finally at basically the fun part which is my eyeshadow all right so the very first thing that i like to do with my eyes is go in with this nyx uh jumbo pencil in milk um right now there's like purple smeared on it because i also use this on top of my lipstick to make it more pastel so basically what i do is i just kind of put some all over my eye um, I like to get it on my lower lash line, I like to get it in the inner corner. That's kind of all that I do. And then also recently I've been putting it on my waterline because I like the look of um, having like a white waterline and then like really dark eyeshadow and eyeliner. I think it makes your eyes look really, really big. I know I look like a crazy person right now. Actually what I'll do to blend this out is either use my beauty blender or just this like random brush. So I, I think that this is a foundation brush or something but I don't really use it for foundation, so I find it works pretty well for this. So, so that's how it blended out with that, or you can just kinda do some stuff with the beauty blender and you'll get pretty much the same effect. <laughs> At this point we can go ahead and do our eyeshadow. I kind of switch up whether I do the purple or the black first, but today I'm gonna do the black first just because. Um, so I'm gonna dip into this shade with this kind of like, angled fluffy brush it's like my favorite because i love to do kind of like a v on the outer corner so i'm just going to go ahead and grab some black on both sides and then what i like to do is kind of just start here and i just kind of i'll do like random stuff i don't really know what i'm doing i just kind of basically make like a little outer v thing sort of start bringing it towards the inner corner and i'm like kind of above my crease. I, I love my eyeshadow to be like really intense, so I bring it up pretty high. Um, but I just kind of like work on sort of building up this like 
V thing and just kind of like bringing it towards the inner uh, corner of my eye essentially. Basically I'm just darkening the entire like outer corner and then I also like to go down here with black as well. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and essentially do the same thing on the other side. I'm always like moving this brush and kind of like changing the angle that I'm going at it with all the time. There's literally no rhyme or reason for it really. I just kind of do random stuff until I get it how I want it. You know those like memes that you'll see about when you're trying to do your winged eyeliner and then you mess up and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger? I'm basically that person except I just like strive for that. Like I'm like, yeah, I want my eyeshadow and my eyeliner to be a lot bigger so I don't really care. And then again, we're just kind of bringing this down sort of into the inner corner of my eye-ish. So for now, that's pretty much good on the black. I'll end up probably coming back to it again in the end. I usually do, and I just like to keep building it up and making it more and more black and more and more intense. Now I'm gonna go in with my purple. So I have um, a couple brushes that I typically like to use, but I'm gonna show you guys these two. So I have this one, which is just kind of like, I don't really know, like a flat kind of fluffy brush. And then this one's just kind of like, a dome fluffy brush kind of. I use pretty much anything. I just kind of like, depending on how dirty my brush is, I'll switch to a new brush. It doesn't really matter what you use. Sometimes this kind of more dome one is good for like getting into the inner corner. It kind of just perfectly like does it for you. Um, and this one's kind of good for packing it on, I guess. But overall, it doesn't really matter what kind of brush you do. You're just, you want to put purple on there. I'm going to start with this color right here. It's super, super purple and it's called Blood Queen, which is such a vibe. I'm gonna reapply some more of my jumbo pencil and milk. Right, so again, I've got my brush all packed up and I'm just gonna go ahead and start basically filling in anywhere where I didn't directly put the black. Um, I'm just trying to make it as purple as possible and then I just bring that all the way to my inner corner. I like to have like basically this big, basically like the size of your pinky. Like if you were to take the eyeshadow and kind of like put it in there, that's how big I like the eyeshadow to kind of come out if that makes sense and I like to also put it on the bottom here what I do a lot of the time is I'll end up then going into more of these like pastel shades of purple so we have vivid mood and deviant um, so I'll sometimes just kind of dip into those and um, as you can see it's a pretty pastel purple and then I just kind of like to go over top of it randomly just because it kind of helps to like brighten it up a bit more and make it more of like the shade of purple that I like. Build that up super super intense. Something like that. And now I'll just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So again I'm going into that uh, Blood Queen shade and I'm just kind of like randomly packing it on and kind of like dragging it along my eye. And then at this point I'm going to go into those two lighter shades of purple and just kind of dab those on here to make it a little bit brighter. And more pastel kind of. Okay, so that is pretty good. That's pretty much roughly what my makeup usually turns out like. Um, sometimes I'll do random stuff like I'll dip my finger into these like super um, kind of sparkly shades or shimmery shades I guess and I'll just kind of like pat it over the purple and it's just a really nice effect. But you don't have to do that and I don't always do that but just for fun I'll show you guys. So I just kind of like go back and forth between Pink Magic and Wet Jewel and just kind of get a little bit on my finger. And then I'll just kind of like tap it on my eye and kind of get it into my inner corner here. And that just helps to make it extra, I guess. Sometimes I don't feel like it, so it just kind of depends, but I figured I'd show you guys because that is something I like to do pretty often. And then sometimes I'll just kind of go back into my purple eyeshadows and kind of dab it over top just to kind of I don't know, tone it down a bit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow, but I'll show you guys another thing I tend to do. Very frequently, I will go into this Executioner shade, which is basically this like black eyeshadow with like purple sparkles in it. And I'll just kind of add that to like the black and the purple where it kind of meets. I'll just kind of, uh, add it in there. So now uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is move on to eyeliners. So 
Two of my favorite liquid eyeliners that I've been absolutely loving are um, this one by Essence. It's just super, super cheap and I love it. It's a felt tip and it's called Essence 24 Ever Ink Liner Intense Black. This one I've been using for literally years, like probably like six years or something. It's my favorite. It's only like three or four dollars. I usually have like five of these and I just kind of buy them all at once so I know I have a good stock of them. Um, and then recently I decided to try this one which is by Wet n Wild and it's called Breakup Proof uh, Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So this is another one that I've been using a lot. I really like tell a difference on camera. This one's the Wet n Wild one and this is the Essence one. But the Essence one is like a solid felt tip and then the Wet n Wild one is kind of like brushes. So unfortunately my camera battery is now flashing so I don't know at what point that's gonna die but I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can and then I guess we'll just take a break and I'll come back to this in a little bit so I just kind of will start in the middle of my eye and just kind of start uh, making a pretty thick line that's where we're at right now and then for my wing I'll just kind of go ahead and make my first line kind of following where my eyeshadow naturally was kind of and then we'll just sort of drag it down to kind of make that triangle. And then the next thing that I like to do um, is kind of do like an inner corner wing thing. So I'll sort of make my first uh, line kind of coming down here. Let's see. So we got something like that and then I'll just kind of again make my little um, triangle thing essentially. Try to zoom in. So I don't usually zoom in but this this is basically what it looks like right now. So basically what I did is I just kind of did this line first and then kind of took it and brought it back towards here and just kind of follow it along and then I just sort of do my inner corner. And I'll just kind of thicken it up. Camera battery died unfortunately so while that was charging I went and played some World of Warcraft and just kind of left my eye makeup where I left off with my one eyeliner basically done. And now I'm going to do it on this side and then afterwards I'm going to show you um, a new thing that I've been doing with my eyeliner. A couple new things that I've been doing with my eyeliner anyways. So for now I'm just going to go ahead and do my other eye. I also feel really bad because when I was doing this one I was really stressed about my camera battery dying so I was kind of like probably not explaining things very well. My last eye, um, I started I started by filling in kind of this area, which you can do and I do do that quite often, but sometimes you can also just start on the wing. You can really start wherever you like, but, but for this eye I'm going to start on the wing. I'm just going to kind of draw a line. Uh, sometimes I'll do it in little strokes, sometimes I'll just do it in one clean line. So for this eye, I'll go ahead and have you guys kind of zoomed in. I don't usually do that because for some reason it makes me uncomfortable, but uh, we're going to do it this time. So I've started with that line there, and then what I'm going to do now is kind of start to bring it back here, kind of like a triangle, and I just kind of like do it and then close my eye once I meet that kind of little like crease area. And then I'm just going to fill it in. So yeah, I'm just kind of taking it from the wing and just kind of bringing it down, working my way towards the outer or the inner corner of my eye. Just kind of continue to kind of go back over it and start to make it a little bit thicker. And then when it comes to starting to work towards this point here, I just will kind of do my little strokes until we make kind of our first little line there and then again we'll kind of do the triangle thing so I'm just gonna kind of go like this and then fill it in and then sometimes I'll just make it a little bit bigger depending on how I'm feeling that day but I do like to kind of thicken it up right in this area so kind of just make this a little bit thicker this weird little dip thing there where I kind of made a mistake so usually what I'll do is I'll just kind of make it like thicker and kind of bring it down like that and then I'll come over here and kind of do the same thing. What I'm going to be doing now is going back into uh, <laughs> my Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette and using the same purples that I used earlier. Um, I tend to do this a lot where I'll kind of after I've had my makeup done for a while I'll kind of go back in and like re-intensify it just because it kind of like somehow like just fades away on its own like I went and played World of Warcraft for a little bit 
and it just kind of as it settles in I don't really know why or how but I just like to kind of retouch it up again and I find at that point it'll actually like stick really well just also sometimes after I do the eyeliner I kind of see spots where like I need to kind of make the purple pop a little bit more like this black eyeliner on the bottom I realize now I need to pull the purple down a little bit lower so you can see it a little bit better kind of like my finalizing stage where like I do any finishing touches that I want to make it the intensity that I'm looking for and I also want to intensify my black so I'm gonna go back into my uh, black from Jeffree Star and we'll just use that to kind of intensify the black And then another thing I like to do, I don't know if you can tell, but like it's kind of messy. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like it's just kind of, my eyeshadow is just kind of there. You can like really see like that it's just sort of sitting there. So what I like to do is kind of go in with a fluffy brush and I'll just kind of blend it slash buff out everything just so that it's kind of more seamless. And then after this, I'm going to go in with like a highlighter shade on my brow bone and that just kind of helps to clean everything up and just kind of finish it all and I'm just basically kind of blending it slash also like smudging it out so it's more intense. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pretty much white shade for my brow bone and I'm just going to go in here and I just kind of put it along my brow bone. I just kind of use that to kind of highlight but also sort of soften out the whole look I guess. And then sometimes I'll even take that and kind of bring it down below and kind of use it to smooth everything out down here. So um, the next thing we're going to do is do our mascara. So I wanted to show you guys, this has been one of my favorite mascaras for a really, really long time. Um, it is also by Essence, which is the same uh, brand of liquid eyeliner I was telling you guys that I've been using for a long time. Um, they also have a Lash Princess with like purple instead of this like green on it but really any mascara from Essence I find to be really really good because this one was drying out and just because I felt like trying something new I bought um, the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Volume Mascara and it's all right I don't know how I feel about it quite yet I like the Essence one better but this is what I've been using because it's not dried out like this one is also I don't really tend to wear fake eyelashes just because I don't know I find them annoying to like do it's just an extra step a lot of coats and really like wiggle uh, my mascara into all of my eyelashes and I'll go back and like re-add it Okay, so at this point my eye makeup is finally done so we're gonna move on to lipstick next so I'm running low on like basically everything but I've been wearing purple lipstick for so long like probably like eight or nine years or something so what I like to use my absolute favorite one is this NYX uh, liquid suede in the color sway what I usually like to do is I will put on my purple lipstick and then I will either Sometimes I'll do both, sometimes I'll do one or the other, it really depends. After I put on the NYX Sway Purple Lipstick, I will either dab on some of the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just kind of like rub my lips together or use my finger to kind of rub it on, or I'll put on this, which is uh, Jeffree Star, whatever his liquid lipstick is in the shade Virginity. Basically, this shade is just like a super light, almost like a whitish, pink lavender like I don't really know how to explain it but it's just really really light and I love to put anything lighter than this on top of this to make it more light if that makes sense but again um, I'm super running out of these two and Jeffree Star doesn't even sell this one anymore but I think that they have it on like eBay and Amazon or stuff like that so I'm not sure if I'll bother to buy more but I really really like it but I can get away with just using the jumbo pencil and milk which is a lot more accessible uh, so the first thing that I do is move my piercings out of the way luckily I wear horseshoe uh, one so it's just really easy to move them to the sides and I just use my teeth to do it just like that. I know it looks a little weird, but that's basically what I do. Um, so again, I'm super running out of this, so I always try to like really go around and even there's some on like the edges here, so I'll just get as much as I can. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply. I don't 
don't really know how to explain it, but I don't mind it being kind of like super blended out and kind of soft. So even if I just have a little bit, it usually works and then I just kind of rub my lips together or move it around with my finger. I want it to be really light anyways. Um, so today I'm just going to go ahead and put on uh, some of this jumbo pencil in milk. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of add some around, sometimes I'll kind of dab it and then I'll just kind of rub my lips or just kind of use my finger to kind of get it perfect. Okay, and pretty much once I put on my purple lipstick, I feel so good. Like, I can't leave the house without purple lipstick. It is like my one thing that just completes the look for me and just makes me feel like me. This is basically my iconic lady survival look. Pretty much it. This is my finished look. This is basically how I do my makeup. But recently, I've been doing something different if I feel like being fancy that day, or if I feel like taking selfies, or being on my webcam, or just if I want to feel like an extra like goth girl that day, basically. Um, what I'll do, I'll use any one of my eyeliners, so either the Essence one or my new Wet n Wild one that I got, and I will basically use eyeliner as eyeshadow, kind of. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I like to have a brush ready, so I'm just gonna use the brush that I used earlier for um, my black eyeshadow. So I've decided to zoom you guys in again so you can really see what I'm doing here. So basically, um, sometimes you'll see girls do this kind of like graphic eyeliner thing where they'll have like black eyeliner sort of in their crease. And I kind of basically do that, but then blend it away. So what I'm gonna do is basically, because I'm blending it, it doesn't really matter how you do it, but I just kind of go like this. So I just kind of have random eyeliner there, but then I'll just go ahead and immediately take my brush and kind of like blend it out. So I just find that it makes it look a lot more intense and I really, really like it and I've just been doing that for the last couple days. You could leave it at that, but sometimes I'll take it even more intense. And again, I'm just going to kind of re-add that line. And then I just do this weird thing where I kind of just like fill it in and bring it down. So now I have kind of like this weird like different way of doing eyeliner. Like I don't know, sometimes there's girls that do it like that. I don't really know what it's called but it's definitely a thing that I've seen before. So that's pretty much what I do. It kind of, you can sort of see the difference. So this one, you can clearly see my wing that I have and that's pretty much all it is. Whereas this side, it's sort of like my wing is like blended into this like really dark blended out eyeliner. Like you can't really see the wing. It's just sort of this like outer corner triangle thing. I don't know if that makes sense, but they definitely look a little bit different. You can also, Literally, I'm not too good at doing the graphic eyeliner thing, so it's kind of messed up. But I could just leave it like that and just kind of have this cool little like thing, but I just personally don't like that for me. I like my eyes to look really like kind of smoky. And then I'm going to show you guys again the thing where I kind of just bring it down. Just kind of random. It literally doesn't even matter. Like I was saying, I do my eye makeup so intense that like I can't really mess it up, per se. I mean, sometimes I can. And then, on top of that, the other thing that I've been doing sometimes is basically drawing on like either fake eyelashes. So sometimes I'll just literally do like quick little like lines to make fake eyelashes. And then other times what I'll do is I've been drawing these like three triangles. So essentially I'm gonna draw like a little triangle here, one here, and then one over here, sort of. And I just think it looks really, really cool. So usually if I'm gonna do that, I'll kind of like literally just use my liquid eyeliner as sort of like an actual, I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm just darkening up my lower lash line. I'm just gonna start with kind of like a line and then kind of finish the triangle over here. So there we go, you can kind of see, it's hard depending on the lighting, but it is definitely there. Just gonna thicken it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one sort of in the middle. Um, sometimes it's hard to figure out the exact angling and positioning of your hand so you don't accidentally get like weird, like cause there's weird creases in your skin, you know? So you don't wanna like catch on any of them and make it a weird triangle, but essentially something like that and then we'll do one more kind of over here.
basically what I do is I just sort of draw each side of the triangle so that it's kind of coming at it at an angle from each side and then I just kind of fill it in. And what I'm going to do now to kind of finish it off, I'm going to go back in with my jumbo pencil and milk and I'm going to kind of like refill in my waterline here. This is kind of like once I'm at this step, this is like officially my like finishing touches stage, almost actually done. I'm just going to go like that and then um, what I like to do, because you can see there's kind of like white on my... Uh, lashes now so I'm just going to go in with my mascara to kind of clean that up and at this point it's been a few minutes since I've done my mascara so it's kind of at a good stage for me to be touching it up. I think at this point I think that we've done it. I think that this is everything that I would do. Um, so anyways I hope that you guys found this helpful and that it helped you understand the way that I do my makeup because I do get a ton of requests on my eyeshadow looks. Basically I just want to finish off with like I'm definitely not a professional. I've been doing my makeup for a long time and I've had a lot of practice but at the same time a lot of my techniques aren't really even that great. Like a lot of the time I'm just kind of randomly blending things and building things up and smudging things and just making it look all dramatic and everything. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!